listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. On the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Catalina After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's The Catalina After Show. Woo! Yeah. Hey, hello. There we go. <laughs> Hi, AfterBuzz fans. We are here today. I'm so excited. Bing is for doing. Today, we are doing another episode of AfterBuzz TV for a new show, CW's series premiere of the Catalina episode one. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Season one spring <laughs> breakdown. We have so much to talk about. First off, I am Jessica King. So excited to be here with new friends, new hosts. Please introduce yourselves. Hey, After Buzzers, I am Jason J. Carter. So glad to be with God. Such beautiful women. <laughs> oh, I was I, I was hoping you guys would be pretty. I was you know, <laughs> I was like I don't know like, if I can do please. this. <laughs> well, you're not too bad looking yourself over thank there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hey guys, I am Carmela Mondello, and I'm so excited to be here for this new show. And I'm Kaori Take. I'm very excited to check out the Catalina with everybody and go after Buzz. Yeah, well, before we do anything else, uh, first off, just want to remind you, after Buzzers out there, that you got to check us out this Thursday and Friday. We are going to be going live at the MTV Gifting Suite. It's going to be super cool. We're going to be there from 12 to noon both days. And we have some great stuff lined up. I'm going to be doing Poly D. We have the LA Complex. They're going to be doing a show. And then we also okay. have a special. MTV pre-show. We're going to have a ton of celebrity guests. I know that um, the Pauly D guys are all going to be here. Everyone is going to be here for the MTV Movie Awards this weekend. So yes. it's going to be a huge weekend, and you guys got to tune in because it's going to be really I'm cool. excited for that. Exciting. That's actually the one award yeah. show that I actually look forward to, to watching. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it used to be the Grammys and the VMAs, but the movie awards are always just so entertaining. Damn I've entertaining. been watching that ever since I was little. Yeah. MTV was... MTV is the... That's it. my jam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my jam. <laughs> oh, that's my song. Music. It's, it's still your jam, Jessica. Was, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, before we break things down, we have so much to talk about, but I just want to tease our special segment that we have coming up later. What is the future of the CW? Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun. So that's going to be a pretty cool topic. Um, lots of things to talk about. Let's get started, you guys. Okay. There's um, a lot of characters in this show. It's like a village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have their own little Miami community down there. Yeah. As we were, as the four of us were watching, we were like, dang, another person? <laughs> yeah. A little overwhelming because they all got introduced within the first... Like five minutes? Yeah. And so uh, we have Nathan, the owner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Stephanie, the general manager. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, Vicky and Karina, who always talk together, they always yeah, they're like, speak they're, at the same time. I thought they were twins very right. quickly, but then I'm like, what is that a requirement? There was some like, weird sexual tension between those two. <laughs> they're not allowed to leave <laughs> each other's side right? the whole agree. time. They, you know, they met up later with the lesbians. Yeah, and like, hey, I, I feel like yeah. so. we're, we're going to get a surprise from them later on in the season. Oh. I think so. <laughs> or not surprise. <laughs> or, 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 or exactly, exactly. Yeah. You heard it first here. <laughs> I After predict. Buzz exclusive. <laughs> After Buzz TV exclusive. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully next time when that surprise comes up, we're going to have to play this clip back when you predicted it. Right. And be like, see, look, inklings of them being in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like the relationship bleh, relationship <laughs> experts. All right. Um, next okay. Have so Gay Vicky all. and Karina were the front desk people. <laughs> yes. Gayal, a.k.a. as Nathan uh, refers to him as Gayal. Gayal, the token gay guy. You, yeah. I mean, what, you can't have a reality show unless you have a gay, a gay person yeah. on, on the show. That's just how yes. it goes. I mean, they add the extra spice of life. You know, <laughs> work girl. And he's very spicy. He's and definitely, he's Israeli. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're also 
Never offensive. Right. Exactly. He's very supportive of his BFF Morgan. So you made a comment that the two foreign people are best friends. Well, yeah. It just it, <laughs> okay for for the. I feel like the show had so many just wrong. Um, I I did. Yeah, it was like okay. Well, the two foreigns are, are are friends, and there's like the dysfunctional relationship, which we'll talk about in a second. But I mean. The, I, I guess you know that they, they have that in common. They're not from the United States, so I mean, if that if that works, go with it. Which is funny to me because Aya is so carefree and mm -hmm. so happy, and then we have Morgan, who's so bitter. What she what is her nickname? Attitude. The Russian baby killer. Yeah. She says that yeah, Russian everyone baby around the hotel calls her the Russian baby killer because she hates Germans and Russians. She's crazy. So she doesn't know why they call her Russian because she doesn't like. She's I not think. Russian. She's actually from Poland. She's Poland. Yeah, she's, from yeah, she's Polish. So um, that was interesting. She's I'm, running around they, and cussing and yeah. maybe they things. mean that she's she kills Russian babies. Russian. Oh, my babies. oh there you go. Maybe well, she doesn't that get makes it. more sense. She's just unpleasant. <laughs> Let's hope so, not. I mean, right. all things, but you know, the people that that work at the hotel aren't the brightest or the sharpest tools in the shed. So that's why they probably called her that. But I mean, Morgan, as you watched the first episode, you Morgan became more endearing. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. more relatable. Yeah, I, I, I was starting she, to get worried because she never smiled within the first 30 minutes she didn't, of the episode. She didn't. Didn't you feel like she was a little more normal right. than the rest of them as totally. you just watched the show progress? Yeah, yeah. she was well, she the most real. Even though she was unpleasant, you accepted her unpleasantness as, exactly. well, at least it's real. I, I work with people like her, so they, they exist. <laughs> I, I you would know? go nuts, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think we all came to the consensus that she we kind of need her on the show. Right. We need that level-headed... You know, she may be a little bitter, but at least she has her head on her shoulders. Like right? that hotel would probably be in flames if it wasn't for her. <laughs> well, and Morgan was the general manager of the Kung Fu Sushi Restaurant, yes. Yes. And which and, and Al's the bartender. The bartender, right? and I, it just blows my mind that they call the sushi restaurant it Kung blew my Fu mind. Sushi. <laughs> when they first mentioned it, we were all like, "What? The what? Huh?" Like, we were like, so like, confused. It's like having like a sushi restaurant at this hotel in, my, in Miami. You know, it was just so so wrong and so awkward, but. Um, there's also Dee Dee. Yes, who you were in love with. Well, she was hot. Yeah. Dee Dee. Well, well, yeah. I mean, she's beautiful. a pool waitress. Right, yes. What, she's she was a pool. cocktail VIP waitress yeah. for the rooftop mm -hmm. pool. Well, they're in Miami, so everyone has to be beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can't you know, you know, can't step foot in Miami-Dade County unless you're gorgeous. Let alone be yeah. on the Catalina. Uh, right, exactly. or on a CW show such as this. <laughs> or work right. at the rooftop pool so, in your bikini. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then we have Chris, the bartender. Um, him and Nancy are both bartenders at the pool. Uh, they used to date. Nancy says, unfortunately, they used to date. Whereas um, Chris was kind of just like, whatevs. They were three months Facebook official, but uh, how long? I don't know. What does that mean, Facebook <laughs> official? What rock have I, I been living I, under? I feel like I may be too old to understand. It's not a real relationship, you guys, unless it's Facebook official. Oh, right. Your Come status. On, yeah. Come on. Got it. And a relationship. Status. Okay, there you go. But Facebook then it official. was confusing mm. because she's like, we were three months Facebook official, but we broke up six months ago. So it's like, well, then how long did you guys date? I mean, no, that, that wasn't a relationship. Did they show that <laughs> clip to specify the maturity level of this chick? Yeah, exactly. Because she was on a jealous outrage. We saw time. a lot more of her. Mm. Uh, personality but you know episode. chris with the k because his name spelled with the k i felt like he he was a typical uh, can oh we, yeah can we say douchebag on, on yes. after us he was a, yeah. he was a typical Tool. db Tool. he's the Tool. womanizer of the group right. he's constantly flirting or making ball. out with or whatever i it is. don't understand men like that keep i mean women he's yeah. like how old do you think he is? Probably 20, like 24, 25, 26. 26 I mean, tops. typical, I've had, typical. I've had guys come up to me at bars or pool parties and talk to me the way he talks to some of these people. And I was like, go yeah, away. Exactly. Some right? girls are into that. Who gives them the time of day? I don't understand. Girls in, in South Beach. <laughs> it works on TV. Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> but they were giving free drinks. Ricky. So, I mean, that definitely was an incentive to talk to Chris. I mean, if, yeah. if you know, you give me a free drink, I'll talk to you. Yeah. Sometimes there's a limit, though. Yeah, right. right. So I don't even think he's that good looking. Not I, at all. Yeah. Likes no. to be getting all these chicks. Normal. It's one thing if you're super sexy. Right. But he's not. Like yeah. William Levy. I just want to say. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> and then lastly, we have David, who is the newest employee of the pool. He works pool with Dee Dee. Um, and he seems to always like to be drunk. Yeah. Right. So he's kind of just going to be the lush of the season. He says that he always drinks. Whenever um, someone asks for shots or orders a drink, he has a hard time uh, denying one for himself. And so that might be an issue since they're supposedly not allowed to drink at the bar while they're working. Right. It's deemed unprofessional. I have a feeling that that rule will be broken 
every, every episode. Every, every episode. <laughs> exactly. Within the first five minutes, yeah. someone's drunk. If they knew he had a real problem, they might have switched positions on him. But Yeah. Right. So, and you know what? He kind of um, was boasting about it. So it's clearly not a big secret oh, that that's no. what he spends his days doing. So what do we think of this cast overall? Um, they're all so different and they're all kind of filling this particular role. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, like the cliches of the reality TV show. Yeah, it show. sort of reminds me like Jersey Shore-esque a little yeah. bit. I would say it's like the new real world, like real world Las Vegas where they are, they stay at the Palms. They You have, again, the the, the characters. You yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you have the gay dude, the the pretty girl, the, the, the drunk. You know, the person with anger issues, Nancy. Yeah. You know, it, it's just, it, what's blowing my mind repeatedly about this show, though, is first of all, the CW is airing something like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, rea <laughs> there, I have, to, I watch a lot of reality television. Uh -huh. And there's good reality TV. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is. The Kardashians, certainly. it's great television. I do love the Kardashians. <laughs> you know, but this was just like, hmm, and, then the, and then the characters, it was just kind of... They're, they like weren't staged believable. And staged and set up. Yeah. 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 Like, it's, it's, exactly. It feels casted, right? Yeah. Right. Like, and like, not real. And what? I was saying, you know, is this really unscripted? Mm -hmm. Because every, even from like the promos where they're kind of just um, posing and they're all, you yeah. know, right? They're or like each interview. It's like, well, Dee Dee's the voice of reason. Like they have to explain it. And I'm kind of thinking, why don't you just let us see that? Yeah. Exactly. And eventually, we would come to that conclusion. Oh, Dee Dee's the voice of reason. If you just wouldn't pile so much in at once, it, I think it would have been a little more enjoyable yeah. it would have been easier to stomach and swallow yeah. it would have felt more genuine <laughs> right right because yeah. re if you have if you have enough dynamic personalities mm -hmm. in a reality show i mean granted we're not always people aren't always being outrageous but if you have enough dynamic personalities in a reality show when you put them in the mix together like the real world they're gonna pop off regardless yeah. you don't have to create these okay well this is you this is yeah you. that'll automatically come to fruition just by you being your genuine mm -hmm. self and that's what i felt was missing tonight I agree. I agree. I agree well, too. you know what, guys? I just want to throw out there real quick. We have this really cool thing that we've set up with Amazon. So for all of you online shoppers out there, I know I'm a huge shopper myself. Um, if you want to go to Amazon, just go to our AfterBuzz TV website and click it from there. For example, today I was shopping for a gift for a friend. She's having a bridal shower on Saturday, and I was looking on Amazon, trying to be creative. I'm, I suck at that. <laughs> but <laughs> I kind of just thought, oh, yeah, I should go to AfterBuzz. And it's just so much easier. AfterBuzz is already cookied into my computer, and it really helps us out. We don't, you know, we don't charge anything mm -hmm. to do these shows, and we're kind of volunteering our time. We love to be here, but we love your help, too. So... Just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway. Yay. <laughs> um, so they're having this huge pool party. This is like the spring start break of spring 2012, break, baby. Right? Um, they have big plans. This is like a big deal. Stephanie, the GM, lays a smack down. She's like, I know you guys like to drink, but we need to stay sober and blah, blah, blah. That all goes out the window. Um this pool party, I mean, for it to be like the biggest pool party of the season, it I saw kind of like 10 people. Like yeah, I didn't yeah, feel like it was seeing very the same people over, over and over, and over again. again. And hence, those people were not attractive either. And to, yeah. the, to the point they needed the general, I mean, the main, the manager, the owner to come up and start the party. Okay, yeah. so like, okay, like we're from LA, right? We know what a good pool party is. I love you know pool what parties. I mean? Yes. That's I mean, jump in, well, music. South yeah. Beach, you know how to rock it too. Right. Yeah. So for the Catalina, because as they said it in the, in the show, Oh, this is we're the hottest hotel in South Beach, blah 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 blah. To have a pool party that that mm -hmm. was just you know okay, it's kind of you know not yeah. not, not, not an epic fail, I think. And yeah. I feel like you know if I was at a pool party trying to enjoy myself, and random employees of this hotel kept coming up and bothering me. Granted, I'm always a fan of the free shots, mm -hmm. but if they keep coming up randomly, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean. During my spring break days <laughs> <laughs> at the pool parties and stuff, I was all about, you know, raging, employees or not employees, everybody's having a good time, but I felt like there wasn't even that many people there, first of all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like everybody was on their own little bungalow just chilling by yeah. themselves, I feel like. It's like you have like to go spring around break, and you're supposed to have people. like DJs, everybody up dancing, it was really you know. Quiet. If yeah, your hotel yeah, yeah. Oh, look, if your hotel is off the hook. Yeah. yeah, free shots, drinks, everything, but 
people are gonna people are gonna want to come and have a good time. The the aura, mm-hmm. then the energy, the environment, the reputation of your hotel is enough to bring people here to keep them there to have a good time for mm-hmm. spring yeah. break. Yeah. You know, so when you're when the general manager is has to come in and make a mm-hmm. fool of himself and And then gets wasted. wasted <laughs> In the mix. I mean, not cool. Okay, first of all, the bartenders at the top of the roof shouldn't even have time to go mingle with people. They exactly. should be like, oh my God, yeah, there's making all these that people money. going Straight. back and forth. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, the setup of all the characters, you're thinking, okay, they're setting us up for for a really kick ass party or right. something. You know, you got this two hot girls at the general desk, you're thinking sex, you know, mm-hmm. you, you think more sex and you think drinking and booze. And then it was kind of like, Eh, smooth right. yeah. yeah. And then he popped open a champagne bottle and right. was just squirting everyone with it. It was, it was just weird. Too. Yeah, I was, I was like, sorry. that's expensive. I mean, champagne I know. costs. I was like, don't, don't waste that. it. I want that too. <laughs> I don't care if it's Corbell, whatever. Don't waste the champagne, <laughs> yeah. buddy. So then we see Nathan get completely annihilated. Um, Stephanie is worried that he's a liability. He shouldn't be behind the bar. And then Morgan, is she Stephanie's sidekick or what? I mean, she's like devil's like advocate. I feel like she, <laughs> she don't know who Morgan is. Morgan is just mad and angry. So I feel like she goes with whoever is justifying yeah. her cause at the moment. That I agree with that. You know, so That's if, so if I work there and she hated me on Saturday, but on Monday, I have a problem and Morgan's like on my on the on the boat with me. She, you know, she's my friend for that for that hour. And plus she's foreign, so we don't really know what's going through her head. Not saying that she she not saying that foreign people aren't smart. <laughs> what I'm saying is on the show. <laughs> let me rephrase, <laughs> that. Let me rephrase that. On the show, she's like not making sense ever. That's why they have to put in subtitles what she's saying because we don't know, we can't make Touché. out what she's saying. You know what but I mean? But she's mm. a boss. She gets yeah. it done. Like, she's the only one that gets work done there, though. Well, she's a masochist. She likes pain. <laughs> she likes hard work. I yeah. mean... She... Well, let me pose this question, which I asked you guys during the episode. You know, Morgan has this very thick, Polish accent. Um, I'm very familiar with Polish accents because my fiance is Polish. His whole family, he's first generation American. So his brother, his mom, his dad, they all have Polish accents. And they're not that bad. Like, I can understand what they're saying, you know. But with Morgan, I was kind of like, wait, what? Huh? What, 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 you know? So Do you think it's the kind of thing where she's, you know, making that persona stronger for? Good TV. F- Emphasize ethnic. Wait, you said, did you say good TV? Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go that far, Jessica. For TV. For TV. <laughs> For TV. For TV. I think they're I all. It. I think all the characters are a little contrived. Did the Morgan? First of all, I feel like I've seen her before somewhere else. And two, I think that she probably is being a little bit extra. Yeah. Yeah. Being a little bit extra. Well, they all probably are. I don't Except know. Except for Dee Dee. I but feel like Dee Dee. Yeah, one, Nancy was kind of dull. Yeah. Well, no, because no, that's 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 the, that's part, the cliffhanger that's coming later on in the season when she has the meltdown. Oh, the, the, she's bubbling. Yeah. It's bubbling. When they start hooking up again, if we if we make it that far. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about that a little bit because we briefly mentioned that Nancy and uh, Chris with the K used to date. You know, in their first interview, the first time we introduced to them, Nancy's kind of playing this. I don't care. Unfortunately, we dated. You know, she's like too cool for school. And throughout this episode, we we find out that Chris and Vicky kissed or made out or something. Yep. And Nancy is starting to get a little mm-hmm. jealous. She she's asking loves twenty him. questions. Yeah, it's obvious. I and mean, yeah. You can't mix business yeah. and pleasure. You should never work with someone you're dating. I, One. I'm. I'm. Or hook my, up with somebody you work with. My boyfriend and I work together, but we dated a year before, and then he's like, oh. I have a job, but it is yeah. a different story. It works out sometimes, I'm saying. Wait, no, and it's, it's not like Catalina. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and they're not. And, and, and you're you know, not on spring break <laughs> in right. Miami. And, and you drunk, can't be jealous. And drunk and inebriated. Yeah. But I feel like Nancy, Nancy is still sprung on Chris with a K, and that's what we're gonna call him, Chris, Chris with, with a K, K, because I think it's just I, I don't know. I always like to I always like Chris with a K. Um, I think she's still sprung on him, and she's still. It it sucks yeah. seeing someone that you used to date if you still have feelings for that person. Of course. Be all on somebody else. Oh, for sure. You know. And, no doubt. And so I'm sure, I mean... Well, but she doesn't do a good job at playing both sides of it. For her no. to act nonchalant, like she doesn't care. Right. And then on the other hand, be like, well, when did you do this? And what, do you like yeah. her now? And why are you looking at her? Right. And I'm going to go crazy. Like, but Chris, yeah. I feel like Chris is the type of guy, though, that when she starts seeing someone else or she like... It's always that law of attraction. It's like when you don't want them... They want you. Right, yeah. damn. When you're all about it and like crying and Facebook and Twittering mm-hmm. and letters and stuff, they're, they're not checking for you. That's what's going to happen, I think. Yeah. Well, um, 
we see back to the pool party. We kind of see uh, Morgan reprimands everyone. Um, and like I said, she's Stephanie's sidekick. And then she's lecturing the owner. She's just mm -hmm. the employee. And she's lecturing the owner. She's not even getting the GM to do it. Yeah. She's doing so, um, it. Well, she... She's the general manager of the restaurant. Of the Kung Fu Sushi. Oh, yeah. sure. the restaurant. <laughs> right. Not dumb. But I, but I can understand. I can understand that happening because it, it, I've worked on jobs where I hate to say it, where I was smarter than the person, than my superior, and it happens. It does happen. It happens, you know. And you sometimes, you I mean, people don't don't. Sometimes you're just smarter than people, mm -hmm. you know. What I mean, so I feel like Morgan. She's never inebriated. Mm -hmm. You know, she's always she's you know always, like always, always like said, level headed, she's lucid. She's always yeah. lucid. <laughs> So that's probably why, because Nathan seems like he's just one, one forty ounce away from I don't know something tragic. Nathan seems like he shouldn't be the owner of the hotel. No. But I was I was kind of <laughs> interested by him though. He's, he's really he's good one looking. He's more of the more interesting characters, I think. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like he's just kind of a disaster waiting to happen. They're all probably disaster. Why. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all a hot mess. Hot mess. Well, um, after buzzers, please leave us iTunes ratings. This is our first show on this series. This is the season series premiere mm -hmm. so let us know what you think i hope you guys all watched out there we were kind of a little confused as to what's going yeah, on and what the future of this show <laughs> is going to be so we'd love to hear your comments let us know what you think go ahead and put five stars that'd be okay too um and it really helps us out like i said we're all about you helping us help us help you help us help you. <laughs> Amen. so um Morgan and Nathan are talking, and Nathan just springs it on her that he signed her up for model beach volleyball. Mm -hmm. And uh, she acts like she's very, very upset about that, but I don't think she is. I, I, I wanted to point out that when he does sit her down, that's the only time throughout the whole episode she seemed kind of calm and like, I just feel like she has a little crush on him. Yeah. She was kind of like, oh, you, why are you bringing me out here at night? And yeah. then he springs that on, she's like, well, and she still wasn't even that pissed. Yeah. Right. She didn't lose it like she does over the little things she would have right. lost over earlier. Yeah, I, I, I thought that too. What blows my mind again, I know I'm, that's the phrase because I don't, I'm trying to wrap my head around everything <laughs> I saw tonight. Um, model Beach Volleyball. I it's Miami. Yeah, I was, but you it, didn't see models either, right? No, no one, no one playing in that game was was hot. I saw <laughs> cottage cheese and everything that was just you know not model like, and you know, cottage so cheese. no pool party, no model beach. No, what mean, happened? In this dude, episode? what is going, going on? on? <laughs> who who casted this show? Uh, I don't know. So, okay, you guys, this is the climax of the episode. Every employee is just like, this game is going to be so great, and she's going to kill it out there. And I'm just like, this is our storyline, you know? This yeah. Is yeah. And of Riveting. course, she got like the last. <laughs> Her hit was slow. Slow. Yeah. Slow. Slow. Was slow. The it last was, point. Jess, it was a spike, even. She was like, Wah. And there were two <laughs> And she like, missed every ball before. I'm like, should we have the Rocky song on? It just right now? <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> There's two dun, Olympians dun. on the other side of the net. I know. That she beat. She had like Gabrielle mm. Reese and like, you know, gold medalists on the I other know. side. Like, ready. What? Of course. What just of happened course. here? And she, know, and she actually looked pretty playing volleyball. Yeah, well, she was no she sweat. Like a real person. <laughs> yeah, she was just you know glossy, very dewy. Yeah. You know, just well, and well, she, <laughs> she's she got kinda, a cute figure. Yeah, we'll yeah. give her that. Yeah, the and unibrow. They all did. They all did. The, un the <laughs> unibrow that wasn't really. I didn't unibrow. notice that. No, there wasn't. The reason why I say she had a unibrow is because her face didn't move. Remember, she, uh, she, she the she, eyes were just very. She was yeah. like Natasha from Bullwinkle. You know. Just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There you yeah. go. Yeah. This is what they should have been playing. Spike slow dun, mode. Dun, dun, dun. Morgan, yeah. Doesn't this make you want to get yeah. up and run down? Yeah. Well, on. they all did after, you know, they had that shot where yeah. they all walked yeah. hand in hand into the sunset. Yes! Oh my gosh, after she won, they were like running, jumping. Woo, you won, you did it. And they, I mean, together as a staff, it was just such a, such a, um, a, what's that? A coming together moment, you but, know, yeah. it was so bonding. Wouldn't it have felt like in the Sandlot when they're like walking to the baseball field in slow mo? Yeah, in <laughs> slow mo, and their crew just like, win, like Beyonce yeah. wind, just you know, just going. Wouldn't it have felt more together if, like, they had a team made from Catalina that played volleyball and right. not just yeah. one, one person? person. Yeah. One person. Yeah. I mean, I they would have won anyway, right? Too. And then her her consequence if she didn't win was they were going to deport her. I don't it's think just they would like have done the that, ongoing joke, joke of yeah. the hotel. I don't understand 
how that is that funny. Was stupid. But right. everyone kept saying either she was going to get fired or she, what did she say? He'll send me on my banana, banana boat. boat. How that was not very. That cute. was the yeah. first no. time that. Morgan cracked a smile though. Right. In the whole episode. Well, I feel like this Barely. whole segment was, uh, was beneficial there. for her because right. we saw a lighter, a little <laughs> yeah. bit of a lighter side to her. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas the rest of the episode, we had been commenting on how monotone she always was. Right. And speaking of Nathan, when she won and Nathan brought her her little drink gift of surprise, she was definitely. Yeah. Like, I feel mm-hmm. that. She they slurped that down. A good time. Yeah. She slurped that down so quick. She's like, <laughs> getting hammered. <laughs> done. Um, das so, Vadanya. I think we're all in agreement that there's going to be something between the two of them. Yeah. Um, so then, that's the episode. Yeah. That's Again, riveting. Pretty much the episode. Well, let me ask you guys a question. What did you guys think about uh, Nathan's panty pocket? Oh, that was very classy. <laughs> I already forgot about that. How classy. Wait, what did uh, I the miss? Owner, the panty pocket. The he, when he was had with some chicks Panties. thong. From the hotel and his and he suit used pocket. it as the napkin in his suit yeah. pocket. See his what, panty square. Well, how is that even? What, how is that right? It's not real life. <laughs> like, are there really hotels? Like, I've been to I've been to New so. Orleans. I've been to Houston, South Padre. Are there really hotels that allow that kind of just crassness and? I mean, maybe, but they're not being filmed. So we would never know. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. That's just. Well, we were all kind of talking I mean, about how we've never even heard of the Catalina. Right. Hotel we never heard right. of Catalina. To begin with. I feel like it was a, a Motel Six that they just renovated and named it the Catalina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I Probably thought so too. So. You know what I mean? like, Something like that. My fiance's family lives in South Beach, so we visit a lot, and I've never seen or heard. Well, I love now you, Jessica. You She's like, go. I visit to I, I visit South Beach all the time. So I mean, no, I mean it's my it's usually family stuff, but we always have to make like a night out or something. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, like I said, I'm a big proponent of the pool parties, especially in the summer. And if I've never heard of this place, it's kind of weird. You're like a pool party aficionado, and I the Catalina was not on your radar. I mean, Catalina might be the place to go if you want to relax. You know right. what I mean? Well, I think <laughs> it's probably called something else. Something else. It's probably and called they like named it. I like, don't know. but the they can't front possibly in. have those people working there. No, it's, no. exactly. And no. we mentioned it's a hoax. we always see them together, like <laughs> at the end of the volleyball game, when they were all together drinking. Well, then who's working? Well, who's running the kung fu? <laughs> kung fu the kung fu sushi yeah. panda. It's like a really good punked. You know, I mean, everyone's they're punking us all. It's just like a multi punk. You know, well, not just one person's being punked. <laughs> all America's being punked. <laughs> There's got to be. More workers to have like three buildings. They're not or cute. Whatever. That's why they weren't in the show. Okay. They're not pretty. <laughs> they're, they're, again, we're in the South real Beach. workers. There, there is, there is rules. So what's Chris doing in there? Chris, Chris, he, Chris, with a K? Chris, Chris with was a, a wild card. They, they, that wild. was a charity. He was a charity case. Okay, they allowed him to. They, he was like, you know, we need one like you. There you go. And David. Both David's David. good looking. Oh, let me, well, let me tell, let me just say this quote of David's that just kind of stuck out to me. It resonated with you. Flirting is the golden key of my resume. What? I didn't hear that. Oh, I remember that. Yes. I mean, is that a skill that you put on your resume? You know, like... If your name is douche. Typing, Microsoft (laughs) Word, social media, flirting. LA, you you, you would be surprised when the world would get you booked on a job. I'm or an, even like a bottle service right. job at a club. I'm oh, an amazing my flirter. Gosh. My, fl- I mean, I ha- I played varsity in flirting in high school. <laughs> yeah, really. Me Trust too. me. I was the captain. I've of the taken team. years of training. I mean, flirting. <laughs> I have, I have a PhD in flirting with an emphasis on super flirting. I mean, they, and he was, and, and, what, and what drives me so inc- so insane and crazy is that these people commit to these statements. They do. They're like, I am an amazing flirter. <laughs> and it's it's and it's it's how you say it. If you say it with conviction, yeah, you're like it's believable. Oh, shoot, he's serious. Like yeah, well, 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 flirting's a science. Flirting's an art. I'm getting scared. But David and Chris is like, you. I am a douchebag. Right. Yeah. I am. Uh, but it's like they say that. And I'm saying. gonna prove it. <laughs> They say if a snake says it's gonna bite you and it bites you, well, it told you it told you it's gonna bite. I would rather have Chris say, you know what, I am scum. And us be like, okay, well, he's scum. I can respect that. <laughs> then uh, for him to be like this nice guy. Mm-hmm. And, and, and then, like, all of a sudden it comes out. Right. We were yeah. duped. That he duped us. Yeah. Well, we let me ask punked. you guys an important question. <laughs> do you like video games? Yes. Yeah. Like, I do. I love Wii and doing all the workout things. I have a so... confession. I haven't played mm-hmm. a video game since Super NES. That's wow. a long time. Well, let me tell you this great <laughs> news. Now is your time to get back on your game of video games. You got that? That's kind of cool, right? But, um, Great play on words, Jess. Go to Gamefly. They are like the Netflix of video games. They have over 
thousands and thousands of video games, super easy. You can rent it, you could play it for a week or so, return it, and you're all good. And I think so, you get a 15 day free trial if you've never if done you it go before. Through After Buzz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, games, but that, that, my blood pressure. I, I was that guy that would like, try to make Mario move by doing this instead of actually pressing the buttons on the console. Oh, so I can't, I can't do games. Oh. I rocked at Super Mario Brothers 1. Yeah. I have a twin brother, and he did I'm a talk twin. Shut up. Side note <laughs> the show Duets, I think, is going to be such a fun video game, right? I know. <laughs> I hear you're, crickets. You're crickets. Now you're like you're, you'll be singing along with Kelly Clarkson, John Legend. Oh, there's really there's a duet Robin video Thick, game. Um, and we and Jennifer Nettles. No, there's not yet, but I think there's going. Oh. To, there will be. There yeah. will be. She's putting it out. But they have. Yeah. You know, the, the I'm really foreshadowing it. Good really you. big. You know. <laughs> well, now that we've completely veered off topic, <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut to a commercial. But I just want to tease our special segment. <laughs> Okay, um, and we'll be back. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening? We are the America's Best Dance Crew ABDC After Show, coming to you guys. We watch the show every week just like you, and we go every Friday to the set to interview and talk to the crews behind the scenes and let you know what is happening behind the scenes. Hey everybody, we are After Buzz Mob Wives Edition, the only Mob Wives after show out there. I'm your host, Adrian Vera, with my lovely co-host. Kevin Undegaro. Grant Rudder. Cameron Marston. You guys can check us out every week. We have a lot of fun. We drink wine. We talk about the show. So check us out. We're also doing the Big Ann show. So tune into that and Mob Wives Chicago. Hey guys, what's happening? We are the Game of Thrones After Buzz crew. I'm Dave Klein. Bethany Jaber. Kristen Elizabeth Snyder. Simone Boyce. And we come to you every single week live Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific time for We Are Kings of the Game of Thrones after show. And we have one thing to say. Oh, oh shadow, shadow baby. baby. Oh, oh shadow, shadow baby. baby. Oh shadow baby. After Buzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? And we're back. So we were all kind of talking a little bit earlier. Um, CW watching this show kind of got us thinking, you know, CW is known for a lot of their dramas. You know, they have Gossip Girl, they have The Ringer, Vampire Diaries, Heart of Dixie goes on and on and on. Um, and before now, you know, America's Next Top Model was pretty much their only um, reality TV show. Not to mention it was, it is one of the most successful shows on the mm -hmm. network entirely. So now we're seeing them producing more and more and more reality shows than ever. They have the Catalina. Um, we also have Breaking Point coming up, which is about ballet. We have the Star Next Door, which is a musical competition. Oh, Sit is a musical chairs game. Wow. Remodeled is a model scouting show. I mean, the list mm, goes on yeah. of how many, especially this summer and coming up in the fall. And I know I cover Gossip Girl and I am a big fan of a lot of CW's dramas. And I've read a lot that, you know, their ratings are kind of plummeting for a lot of these shows that they used to have very strong mm -hmm. ratings for. I mean, I know um, Gossip Girl, this whole season was kind of in question. Is this going to be the end of the series? And I think they ordered only half of a season for next season. Ooh. So what do you guys kind of think about that? I mean, some of these shows don't necessarily strike my appeal. I mean, a musical chairs mm -hmm. show, I mean, no. are they just kind of... Pulling out of probably they're trying <laughs> to still whatever against the wall and see what sticks, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think reality the CW, I mean, we grew up watching the WB, the CW. Mm -hmm, exactly. I mean, from from when it was UPN and then and and I mean, One Tree Hill, um, Supernatural, Dawson's Smallville, Creek. Dawson's Creek, oh, yes, Buffy. Felicity, remember Felicity, yes. Buffy, and oh, Buffy the Vampire, exactly. Yeah. Great shows, great television, and now in the summertime, people. They, they, the shows are on hiatus, so they mm -hmm. have to have other stuff to to fill the gaps. And reality TV is very, very cheap to produce. Yes. Very cheap to make. That's right. I and, wish they would though. not, though. And we and believe it or not, we eat it up. We 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 mm -hmm. love because it's like I could never ever be that ridiculously outlandish. So I, I would love to watch people on television doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I think the future of the CW. I think they will. They will. They they'll rebound. They're they're they have great backing. Um, they're, they have quality television. As far as the reality shows, that's just 
you know, again, see what sticks. Like, the breaking point, I would love for that show to be, I'm a dancer myself, mm -hmm. so I understand what it takes to be an amazing dancer, to train, mm -hmm. to to be so committed. So I would love for that show to actually be about that and not be about these characters that are... Do you think that that show will, like, run for multiple seasons, though? You know what? Reality, unless... Unless reality TV is really salacious or really outrageous, like Basketball Wives or the Kardashians, a lot of these shows have short lives because yeah. people they're, they're they're topical for that moment, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And so no one no one's gonna care about unless it's really compelling and really riveting and they and there's stories. That's why we watch American Idol. That's why we watch duets because the stories that yeah. that grip mm -hmm. us that that go into that so mm -hmm. if there's stories in those shows they might be back well i don't i don't think reality shows are just fillers really for during the summer i think they're actually the next source of entertainment so i wouldn't be surprised if cw took on more reality invested shows like you said it was it's, it's cheap to produce and people <coughs> relate somehow to reality right. shows. You find a, a character more. that yeah. that that you can identify with. There's a lot more guilty pleasure involved. Yeah, and but we love do you that. think that um, the more reality shows they add to their roster, that people will start taking? It'll take away from their dramas because the CW um, is one of the few networks who are still known right. for I hope a lot not. of their drama. I, I don't think so. I, I I think you know even when it's not on the CW. Um, People go on YouTube right. or Reddit Hulu. or Hulu, mm -hmm. anything to look at people making videos of themselves doing outrageous things. Mm -hmm. This is like the, our future is being real people doing outlandish things. Mm -hmm. And and the dramas that that are on television have been around for a while now. Like Gossip Girl is already on season yeah, five, just and, that. and and Supernatural, all these. And so people are starting to you you. Grow out of it. It has yeah. its The well, majority run. of their scripted shows, I feel like, do have long runs. And mm -hmm. then, like, I'm looking forward to what's going to come next. Because, mm -hmm. like we said, Dawson's Creek and right. Buffy mm -hmm. had their run. Now, Gossip Girl 90210 yeah. right. has, has its run. So, like, there's going to be good things yeah. coming It's very up, generational, I think, I yeah. think too. We're always rooting for the, the dramas that we like as well right. as the reality shows. And I know, like... I was a huge 90210 fan, and now totally. I'm starting to see it plummet. But I still watch it religiously because that was yeah. my show. Yeah. Well, you're dedicated to the we characters, yeah. about yeah. like their stories. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and you, and you, I mean, this even though we're talking about Kelly, like, I'm a fan of a, of a medical drama, and mm -hmm. I've watched from the beginning, from from the first episode to the final finale, mm -hmm. and you just, it's part of your life. You yeah. Be, it, it, it's an identity, yeah. you know? Yeah. And you relate thing, to, like, the one right. character and, like, your friends mm, yeah. or, like, the other characters. But I feel like also, you know, for example, networks like <clears throat> Bravo and E!, who are known as reality TV networks, you know, I'm a huge fan of reality TV, and I definitely have yeah. my core mm -hmm. shows that I never miss. But now that those networks that are known as reality networks are starting to talk about doing scripted shows, I kind of don't take that seriously right, right. you know i'm right. like yeah right yeah. you know you guys are a reality tv network so with cw now who's known as a drama mm -hmm. network and now they want to start lining up all these reality shows i mean is it the same effect it could be it, it could be and the thing is though some of these reality tv shows are actually very dramatic yes. and that's why we're tuning into them mm -hmm. it's it's real because we can watch What's well, Vampire Diaries? Let's say the Vampire Diaries, and it's they're actors, they're vampires. It's always so much angst, whatever. But when we're watching reality TV and it's drama on reality TV, it's real deal, yeah. amateur, that, authentic that is drama. Who they are, exactly. They're that, showing right? their they're showing their true self. Mm -hmm. So I think that if the CW can get a handle on making great reality TV, great keyword, great reality TV, <laughs> because right. there, yes. there is because come on, Jess, you we all know there is yeah. some amazing yeah. reality yeah. television. Yes. Yeah, I mean, hey, hallelujah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I like the no, Kardashians. No, there is. There you know, is. And, it, and it's great because it's we get we get a peek into a life that's not our own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so and, th and that's the clincher. That's that's where they get us. It's like you want to be this person, and mm -hmm. even though you don't, even though you say you don't want to, you secretly are in, in <laughs> love with this person. And you love everything about them. And so the CW can find a way to make sure that the reality shows that they're putting out are quality. I think they have a smash hit wonder. Well, I think also I've I've talked about this with a lot of friends living in LA our perspectives are completely different yeah. mm -hmm. in yeah. reality TV compared to anyone else, you right. know? So I'm very picky about my t reality TV. That's why I love Real Housewives of mm -hmm. Beverly Hills sure. because they are legit. Right. Like, they are <laughs> the loaded deal. and, you know, they don't care. And so I feel like the kind of shows... I'm sorry, this oh-sit thing, musical chairs, 
I can't, I just can't mm-hmm. process it, no. you know? Well, and and we talked even with the Catalina about how the characters seem like they're hyping themselves up to be something different than mm-hmm. what they are, either acting, you know? And that's the definition of non-quality. Yeah. Right. You know? I, I so, think yeah. people like to relate to people. Like, now there's not only just reality shows, but there's competition shows that are mm-hmm. growing too with real people you know we, right. we want to mm-hmm. feel engaged with these characters whereas vampire diaries sure but we can never really relate with vampires right. or a woman sure who's you know in a love triangle with with two, uh, two, two brothers two brothers wait a minute oh, Carmela guys. told me that she had two boyfriends oh yeah that's I know. <laughs> 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 you guys no, you're right. You're right, though. You're gonna blow my cover. <laughs> but the thing again, I'll say <laughs> we're live okay. here. <laughs> I say this time, like extreme home makeover, an extreme body makeover, the new one. It plucks at our heartstrings, mm-hmm. and we're and we're all we're like, oh my god, you know, they got a house, move that truck, and you don't know, do it, right? You know, and so <laughs> that that I think people, as far as reality TV goes, it's not going away. No, since the real world debuted twenty years ago, twenty two years ago, it's been on the upswing. Yeah, I know. Ninety two, ninety two was the first season of the real world, Los Angeles or California, whatever. Um, It's it's only normally things have a a lifespan. Mm -hmm. You know, reality TV is consistently going up. It's like this never ending skyrocket to oblivion for reality TV, and that's just how it's gonna go. So again, CW. Get some good reality television. They got a fan of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah, got absolutely. I hope me we too. see a little more depth from what we saw tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then you, you know, like you said, it's not necessarily that they're that summer that they're experimenting for summer. But I feel like this is the perfect time to experiment. Right. You know? and see, yeah. Again, so. see what sticks. And they, they, not all reality TVs like the Catalina. And one thing, one of the thing, let's talk about the positives about the Catalina. Mm-hmm. Okay. One of the positives was. They're um, all having fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're having fun. <laughs> they're celebrating. Spring the drinks break. look amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and it's sunny. <laughs> they get to yeah. be by the beach. <laughs> totally. And um, the general manager is a beauty queen. And what else? And everyone was she a beauty queen? Yeah, oh. Dee Dee was hot. I had a crush on Dee Dee. I, I had I, Dee Dee was hot. She she was my favorite character tonight. I think she was. Yeah. Well, she, speaking, speaking of the cast, of the cast um, we have some superlative games to play. Who was your most valuable player? Good Jess. Uh, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Great accent. I'm working on my Polish accent. I would say my favorite was Nancy. And I could relate to Nancy. What? Just kidding. No, I couldn't. I can't relate oh, to Nancy. Okay. No, I'm joking. Just kidding. No, I mean, you've got more charisma than I. Yeah, yeah totally. No, um, my, I, would, I would have to say I like Nancy. Mm-hmm. Nancy, because she seemed to be, I know girls like Nancy. And yeah. and underneath all that insecure, they're they're cool chicks. They just wanted they just want a little attention. So I think and I can expect good things from Nancy in the future. That might be the other way around. Underneath that cool exterior, she's an insecure chick. Well, yeah, right, totally. right. <laughs> right? Totally. Or or it's both. It's both. <laughs> there she, you go. She's an insecure cool chick. How about that? that, that right. That's her support tip. Insecure cool chick. That's Nancy. Check yes. All right, all right. <laughs> done and done. What about you? Um, my most valuable person of the show was. Probably Nathan, because someone of that status is pretty ridiculous. Right. So. Yeah, he's just getting hammered. He did something all day. right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with Morgan because she won the volleyball tournament for us. Yeah. <laughs> that Slow was an mo. intense yeah. moment. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know if she was gonna Dude. win or if she was gonna get hurt, and I was just like, I mean, we're fearing for her life. It was compelling. <laughs> all right, I, the I, second one, most dis- dysfunctional. Oh my gosh, Nancy. That's my Nancy. Most dysfunctional. <laughs> She's going to have a breakdown this season. If she I keeps see, yeah. having to watch Chris with a K do his thing, flirt with every girl. I mean, he apparently loves to make out. We saw yeah. him. We heard he made out with Vicky. We saw him promos making out with some other strangers. Yeah. And she's kind of just like a ticking time bomb. So she's a, she's a little cray. I, I've, just cray, to chime cray. in on that, I feel like Nancy's going to be the, the unsung hero of this season. I really feel like she's going to pull it together and just blossom into a beautiful young woman and really <laughs> just, just kidding. I would say... I was going with you. I, I was going with you. Commit. Yeah, commit. commit. Right. Hashtag commit. <laughs> commit. Tweet that. Um, I would say the most dysfunctional characters, Dee Dee, David, Chris with a K, Nancy, the whole cast is dysfunctional. I can't pick <laughs> one person. You know what Touché. I mean? I cannot say just one person's most dysfunctional because I feel like they're all going to have their own dysfunctional moments. I think 
David the Pool Boy, David the Pool Boy, I think he has a secret. He's probably going to come out and say something, like have a really poignant moment mm-hmm. later on in the season. Like he was, probably comes from like a bad home or. or Because <laughs> well, he, he's the alcoholic. I'm trying to give Jeff to the show. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Hmm. You know, he, he's from Iowa and he, he made it to, he wanted to come stop. He should be a model and he mm-hmm. couldn't make it. So and he ended up at the Catalina. Oh my gosh. They saved him. Yeah. From a life of, of peril. He got discovered on he was the street discovered. when he was on his last leg. And he flirted his way to that position <laughs> at the and Catalina. he's still there. <laughs> oh, my God. And Winning. There you go. I think we just saw right. the entire show. Yeah, the <laughs> end. So what are you guys' predictions for the season? Well, I, And it, now, you're after Buzz like... TV. Predictions. Ooh. I love the music. It seems like they <clears throat> get scared off by a, a Chinese dragon. Yeah, I mean, that, oh, yeah. that was first that. off the longest promo ever. ever. Very long. And it was so random. There was a ghost hunter or something. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. have, a, they have a seance at, their, at, the, at the hotel. And where is this hotel? I mean, come on, this does not exist. Right, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, we saw some surfing. Adol tried to surf with Morgan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if... They just shot like exterior shots of Miami in the hotels like in Long Beach or something. I mean, I mean you, you, who wants to go to a hotel though. with a pool party with no pool party? Right. A volleyball model thing with no models. No models. Uh, ghost hunters inside. <laughs> with no ghosts. And <laughs> no party. Here, here, and did you see the, the guests of the hotel? Oh, yeah. Right. Let's talk about those that. Those yeah, two chicks making they out. They these guests. What the hell? Yeah. This old <laughs> oh couple from like Kansas and this balding dude. Random. I mean, and, and okay, I, I've never been to South Beach, Jesse, you've been to South Beach, and you know there's beautiful people everywhere in South Beach, right? Yes. So, I mean, and that, we don't, there's no discrimination. You can go stay oh, at any hotel sure. you want, but I'm just saying, if you're... Especially on the CW, like, people our age don't really want to watch people like right. that. Right, totally. I, my prediction for the, for the rest of the, for the season is that it just, it's more of the same, but we're entertained by the antics and just the outlandish doings of the people that work there. I, mean, what, what I have else? high hopes yeah. for this show. Oh. It's gonna be. It's gonna get better. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get better. What? what how? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 we're gonna get to me. know these characters more. Like you said, David is, is an from, aspiring model. Right. We're gonna get to know these guys, yeah. and I feel like okay. it's gonna get better. There's gonna be two. Hook up blow up. So it's gonna be yeah. Nathan and Morgan, and then Chris and your favorite Nancy. And no, or no, I feel like Chris is. I feel like David and Dee Dee are gonna have something. And Vicky. No, and, and there's something with Stephanie. I guess everybody. The two front, <laughs> yeah. the front desk oh, yeah. chicks. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I sure hope that it gets better and it keeps going for the sole purpose that I'll get to host with you guys. I know. Totally. I love you totally. guys. Totally. Yeah. Already. Such That's such awesome. a blast. So. Thanks for joining us, and we'll be back next Tuesday at 9 o'clock. You want to tell them your Twitter? Find me at I am Jessica King. Hit me up. You can follow me on Twitter at JJC Forever. At Carmela Mondello, C-A-R-M-E-L-A-M-O-N-D-E-L-L-O. Wow. (laughs) What up? (laughs) What up to that? At K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S. Awesome. We will see you guys next week. Buzz you later. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz Buzz the <laughs> 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 those are the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.